In this video, I would like to inform you about this new visa that has been approved in Spain called Nomad Visa. New visa for uh, people that is working remotely in Spain. On this last 3rd of November 2022, the Spanish Congress approved. It's a draft, it still is a draft, and it has to be approved in, in a different camera. On, it was approved of uh, the named startup law, eh? lay startup, which aims to turn Spain into a place for uh, like business entrepreneurship in order to attract investment as well as attract talent. Mm? It will be introducing, uh, let's say, administrative uh, a simplification process steps and a series of, and this is important, incentives and tax deductions, uh, reductions, let's say that. Mm? So after this approval that I said in the 3rd of uh, November, will be sent to another camera, which is called the Sen8. Mm? So I still may have some changes. So they could, um, the law could come into force in probably in the coming month. We understand it will be in the beginning of next year, 2023. As always, from this law firm, this from Pellicer, and Heredia, we will be keeping you informed, we will be keeping you update uh, about any new, about this new startup law, mm? lay startup. Mm? What is the aim of this new law for digital nomads? What is the aim of this nomad visa, as we said? Mm? In short, the aim of it is really to attract talent, as I said, and international capital to Spain and to offer these companies and individuals, workers, employees, tax benefits. Mm. But what exactly is a digital nomad? It's a person who, through the internet and telematic means, can carry out work or entrepreneurial activity, can work remotely through this internet and telematic uh, system. Thanks to this way of carrying out their work or your work, you are able to move and travel around the world. Mm. This is not the only a new way of working, but we understand that this is really a, a lifestyle with great freedom of movement. Imagine that right now in Spain there is many cities, let's say Madrid and Barcelona, but as well as capitals as Sevilla, Seville, Alicante, Málaga, Valencia, Bilbao, San Sebastián, many cities are prepared to receive nomad visa. The aim of this teleworking in Spain is to introduce a new visa and authorization for being resident in Spain, being resident and work in Spain as this, through this new law. We call it new uh, law as law of entrepreneurs, ley de emprendedores, which is the same one, it is the same law as the so-called golden visa and will be the same office, will be approving this kind of visa in Madrid. So through this uh, nomad visa, which it is possible, will be possible to live in Spain and work for companies outside of the country. It also allows the possibility of uh, teleworking for companies located in Spain, but subject to some uh, series of requirements. Until now, until uh, this new law that is coming through probably in the beginning of next year, this type of employee was covered by the already and well-known non-lucrative visa, non-working visa, which the name says non-working visa, which um, theoretically you are not able to work, but has the characteristic that you could only telework remotely for companies outside of Spain. This type of authorization and visa will be available for those who carry out a remote work or professional activity for companies located, as I said, outside of Spain through the exclusive use of the computer, telematic and telecommunication means or a system like to know the two work remotely. In addition, self-employed, we call it in Spanish autonomo, self-employed teleworkers may also work for a company located in Spain as long as the percentage of such work, uh, the income that you do, do you get, 
does not exceed 20% of your total professional activity. This is extremely important also. You could be able to work for companies in Spain, but the income shouldn't be more than 20%. So who is able to apply for this visa? Who is a, a qualified a professional in order to apply for this visa or authorization to work remotely telework um, in Spain. Mm, you will be able to do it if you prove that you are first graduate or postgraduate also from universities um, or you have a, like training programs or business school programs or at least you have, if applicable, at least three years of professional experience. Mm, that's also important. The requirements for um, work remotely in Spain, teleworking with this nomad visa, are the following one. First one, the existence of a real and continuous activity for at least one year of the company or group of companies with which you, as an employee, has an employment or a professional relationship. Mm? Okay. Second point is the documentation that you need to prove, you need to accredit, proof, show that the employment or the professional relation can be carried out remotely. Mm? The objective is to work remotely, so this needs to be proved or showed. Mm? In the case of the existence of an employment relationship, proof must be provided of the employment relationship between the employee and the company not located in Spain with at least you, you had this relationship for at least the last three months. Mm? As obviously the documentation you need to show that the company allows the employee to carry out the work activity remotely. It needs to be like an authorization for the company, it allows the employee to come to Spain to work remotely. Mm? In the case of the existence of a professional relationship, the proof must be provided that um, the business relationship uh, with one or more companies not located in Spain for at least three months, as well as the documentation that proves that the terms and conditions and the, which the professional activity is going to be carried out remotely, as I said before. Mm? Okay, how do I process the visa? For, um, uh, for work remotely in Spain through this kind of, of visa. Well, foreigners which are not resident in Spain and intend to enter in a Spain territory, in the Spanish territory, in order to work remotely for a company not located in Spain, must apply for an international, let's say, remotely visa, which will be valid for a maximum of one year. Hmm? Unless it could be, unless it, this is may change, but it could be also apply or requested, required for a shorter period of work, let's say one year or maybe you are required, you require for a shorter period of work. And this visa uh, will constitute like enough sufficient title, enough right to um, be resident in Spain, to live in Spain and to work remotely in Spain during its validity within the period of time that you have this authorization. And once the, the, the period of time of the visa has expired, you as a nomad uh, visa worker or um, self-employment or employee, if you are interested in um, being resident in Spain, you may apply for um, the residence permit as an international employee or worker or I mean teleworker uh, as long as the, as the conditions that uh, generated at the beginning the right to, to get the NUMA visa are maintained, the, the requirements that we said before. Mm -hmm. So in addition, employees of self-employment who are already legal in Spain may apply for this authorization in order to work remotely for a company located outside of Spain. The, this authorization will be valid for two years unless a shorter period is requested. So first it will be for one year and then whenever it wants to maintain, whenever it wants to renew, it will be another two years time unless it's applied a shorter period of time. Mm -hmm. 
uh, unless it's required a shorter period. It is possible to apply for this visa now, mm? right now that we are in November 2022. The answer is no. Mm? At the moment, it is only a draft. It will be in the Senate and will be probably will be some changes. And um, so, from this office, from Bellicera Heredia, we will be keeping you informed, we will be keeping you update and inform you about any news about the new start law that we have in the Lay Emprendedores in order to update you not just about the application on immigration, but also one of the attractions on this law is the benefits on tax issues. Thank you.